they really were responsible for everything. And it was amazing to me to see five and six year olds be able to do all of that. Hi, my name is Erin Keeney. I'm the course coordinator for Math Perspectives, and I'm joined today by Margaret Booker, one of our instructors. Hi, Margaret. Welcome. Hi. Could you tell us a little bit about yourself and the background of what you're doing right now? I started out as a special education teacher. Then the IEPs and the paperwork got to be too much, yeah. so a good friend of mine said, try elementary education, and I was like, ooh, that's a lot of kids, and I don't know what to do. I did that, so I taught first grade for a long time. I yeah. taught the lead teacher for our K-5 school. I was a math specialist and a math coach. I ended up teaching kindergarten when we went to full day K and had no plans to retire when our daughter asked us if we we would move south from New York. So ended up down here with still lots of lots of energy left and again, hadn't planned to retire. So I supervising student teachers and first year teachers uh, for a few universities down here. Keeps me young, keeps me, yes. keeps me in it. Again. You're a busy bee. Huh. Yeah, yeah, I try to be. At what point when you were in these classrooms did you start using developing number concepts and assessing math concepts? started out as a special education teacher. I was able to truly, truly individualize each of their programs, especially in math. I did that and I used lots of different activities. But then when I went to first grade, I ended up with 22 students. And because I had been a special education teacher, basically I was given all of those students who had special needs. I was handed a stack of workbooks in a teacher manual. Yeah. And I knew, I knew that wasn't right, but yeah. I didn't know what else to do. And then I researched, researched, research and I found Kathy's work. So I started doing it. I went to my principal and I said, you know, I'd really like to try some of this. I had been a quote, good math student until high school because I was a good memorizer, but I knew right. that wasn't right. And I knew that's not what I wanted for my students. She gave me the go ahead and I started bringing some other teachers on board because we just saw such amazing results. I was able to see that even with my, my little ones who were struggling at age six, they made such great gains being given the opportunity to spend time and to actually get their hands hands dirty with the activity. Yeah. So it made much more sense to them. Can yeah. you take a little bit deeper of a dive into what your classroom looked like and how that spread to transforming your teaching? You know, I started with the workbook and the, yeah. that, and I, everybody was in their little rows and we were very scheduled. We did everything like we were supposed to do. As I started to do some of these activities, I'm like, oh, the kids really need to like move around and they needed to space to grow, space to spread out. I would put the desks into, from my rows, I would put them into table groups. And then eventually we'd move those aside and do a lot of our work on the floor. I took some of the legs off of some of the tables and put those down so the kids could have flexible seating arrangements and, and be able to move in the classroom. And that was really hard for me at the beginning. Again, I like things, you know, organized, you know, as I continue to grow in this area, I just saw how the children were so engaged engaged with it. So in the classroom, I, I really set it up so that they had free reign to move wherever they wanted. All the materials were available for them. They really were responsible for everything. And it was amazing to me to see five and six-year-olds be able to do all of that. Given that responsibility and given all of that, they were just able to grow and thrive. My last year when I had kindergartners, some of those came in at four years old. We had a new principal that year. And I remember him standing in the doorway and just like amazed to see these kids do this. Yeah. And he's like, wow, you're an amazing teacher. And I said, no, no, no. I've given them that opportunity to be learners. I think I had 21 students my last year and every one of them, I was able to sit back one day and watch were engaged and they were, they were working where they needed to be. And so the behavior problems went away because everybody was doing what they could do. They were being stretched at their level. You know, it just kept them all working and engaged. And I was able to spend a lot more time with them because I kind of got away from the, I'm doing stations to keep them busy yeah, um, yeah. so that I could do my small groups. And then I started to do small groups for a little bit, but then I would spend the majority of my time with them, talking with them, asking questions, yeah. giving them a push or giving them some support. And you just saw an amazing, an amazing growth in these 
these kids. Exactly. So is that once you had professional development with math perspectives, is that what made you decide that you wanted to start working with math perspectives and become an instructor? That was a dream for me. I just kept in touch with Jean just because I always had questions. We brought her to our district and I retired early because we had the opportunity to move south, but I had been a teacher. So I was like, I don't know what to do with myself. Yeah. So yeah. I just reached out to Jean, you know, just to let her know that I wasn't teaching anymore. He asked me if I would be interested in it. And I was blown away. I mean, I was thrilled to be to be invited to do this. Meeting Kathy Richardson was like meeting a rock star for me. <laughs> I've heard that a lot. Going back to professional development and taking that first workshop, what nowadays does a workshop look like? They're all a little bit different based, you know, depending on if we're doing assessing math concepts or developing number concepts or a combination, or they look a little bit different, but how I've changed, I'm much more comfortable now, now with the, the theory part of it, but now this is what I truly believe. So I think I've, it brings passion to it and energy. And, and the thing that I love about these workshops is that you do get the theory, but you also really just get to do a lot of the tasks. I was just in New York doing workshop, the coordinator said, what's amazing about these workshops is it's building capacity in the teachers. And I think that's that's really important. Uh, what I found working with teachers all over the country is that many elementary teachers are not comfortable with math. Yeah. They don't have the, the background themselves. They shy away from it, yeah. which was me. <laughs> and so... <laughs> So you just get, get people just engaged and excited about teaching yeah. math. What is something that Kathy has said or written that has stuck out in your brain all this time? The very first thing that was like the biggest aha to me is when she talks about the illusion of learning. Mm -hmm. Because when I look back at myself and my students, there is that illusion of learning. I can look at somebody and I can give them a standardized test and say, okay, this child is ready to move on. They have, a you know, 100% in their double digit addition because I've given them a sheet where they've done lots of problems. But when we really dig into it, most of those kids or adults don't truly understand what it is. That for me was like, oh my God, I had that illusion of learning, right? I mean, I didn't have the foundation. Helping teachers, helping children understand that, that it's not just what it looks like on the surface. We really have to dig down and, and truly see what kids understand. Then we can help them. Absolutely. Well, it was great speaking with you. Thank you so much, Margaret, for being here with me. <laughs> You're more than welcome. Math Perspectives provides professional development for educators of grades pre-K through five mathematics. Our instructor team is made up of highly qualified classroom teachers who have used our materials and practices with students in their own classrooms. A link is provided below for our professional development offerings. Booking a course is as easy as calling us at 360-715-2782 or emailing info at mathperspectives.com. Kathy Richardson, one of the nation's leading educators of elementary mathematics, is the primary author of the books used in our courses. These books provide teachers with the information they need to understand how children learn mathematics. Kathy has developed assessments that help uncover what students truly know so that teachers can provide them with meaningful experiences in a safe learning environment that helps ensure the success of all students.